So my name's John. Um, I'm a mathematician. I don't know if you know what a mathematician is, but pardon me. What do you think a mathematician does? I, I did have a an idea in starting Jump that we weren't really nurturing kids' full potential in mathematics, both because I had struggled and then found it much easier later in life, and also because I'd seen in my private tutoring some amazing changes in kids. One of my first students was struggling in grade six. Um, they weren't sure he could do math, and he just finished his doctorate in mathematics, so uh, he's now a professor. So I, I saw amazing changes in kids, <clears throat> and I really began to suspect that there was a great deal of potential and that math was an easier subject than people think. Uh, as one great mathematician said, it's really a matter of getting used to things in math. It's not that hard, but it's like a ladder. If you miss a step, you can't go on. If you lose your confidence and stop focusing, you can't go on more than any other subject. And so I think that's why it has the reputation of being such a difficult subject. My name is Mary Jane Morrow, and I currently teach grade five. We do a standardized test beginning of September of grade five, and it helps to set a level. And we've had children that would be really on that sort of standard bell curve, children a couple of grades below in mathematics, uh, that hefty sort of average group, and then higher flyers, those children who might be called gifted in mathematics. But what happened, those ends have come very close together. That's a radically different type of classroom to teach because they can all understand concepts at a high level. You know, I've seen in classrooms where you minimize differences between students, and that doesn't mean holding the faster kids back because we've got data that shows the whole class goes further. But if you minimize differences, then all the kids um, start thinking, engaging, taking risks, and their minds start working so much more efficiently. And they start to develop a love of the subject. And the interesting thing is they don't compete so much anymore but, uh, against each other, they start competing against the problem collectively. It makes you feel like excited to kind of get up in the morning and come to school and you feel like you excel in the classroom and that's fun and you know then you feel happy for the whole day. The lessons have been perfectly designed. The Jump Math Workbook is structured so the children can do a lot of practice. The teacher can use it as an assessment tool in the minute, minute by minute as the child's working. This change that happens in a classroom, I've seen over and over again now for five years. And not just five times in five years, but daily in a classroom. I see the children pumping their hands in the air, asking to do more math, asking if they could stay in for recess, explaining concepts to other children, encouraging other children and telling them they can do it. I think it's the only program of its kind. It's taking a revolutionary look at how children learn and how teachers teach. And it's peeling it back to the real math and the real steps in learning. Many teachers will admit that they are a bit math phobic or math wasn't their strongest subject. And so that's why they um, respond so well to jump. We've had many teachers tell us that it's the first time they enjoyed teaching math or the first time they actually felt they understood the math deeply. They're very grateful to, to be able to work their way through the curriculum and understand it properly. If you can succeed, and not, a, not just a little, but wildly, in a subject that's supposed to be so difficult, mathematics, wouldn't you start to tell yourself that perhaps you could do anything? We would think kids are stunted if they didn't see any beauty in a mountain or a star, but we think it's natural for them to um, graduate from school without any sense of the invisible beauty of the world, the incredible connections, the elegant design of the universe. Uh, these are really, this is sort of a birthright of kids to, to, to understand and appreciate the world on that level. 